The path what are we doing here? of jujitsu is hard. It's a hard path. The, the path of jujitsu is hard. It's a hard path. Keep your nose to the grindstone. You will end up achieving your goals. That will happen. If you keep your nose to the grindstone, you will end up achieving your goals. That will happen. Didn't happen tonight, but... <laughs> Hey, we're gonna keep training. We're gonna keep getting better. This is Echo's first response to a question. Don't screw it up. Here we go. <laughs> I would say it was 06. I rolled with you one time. I was still a white belt. And then, you know, you beat me up and you, you kind of, you were just more like a, this stoic guy. Basically, mm -hmm. I would imagine the same guy that people interpret you to be from the outside. Since I had already heard of you, you were Dean's black belt and, you know, all this stuff that um, I was like, yeah, that's about right. You know, he's, you know, good jujitsu, whatever. Beat me up. But that wasn't really saying much because everyone was beating me up. Time went on. I didn't see you for a while. And then uh, you'd come back. I was competing and then you were just around for whatever reason. Um, and then, yeah, I just started training with you. Echo's been a, a really good training partner for me over the years. He's big and strong, and that's a that's really good to have someone that's big and strong, and they're good at jiu-jitsu. And basically, we're about the same way. I, mean, I think I might be a little bit heavier than him. I've been training with Echo hard since he was about a purple belt. Is when I realized, oh, this guy's got a lot of potential, and started training with him a lot. So, it's been great. We're here, live. You know, there's not that much video or photos of, of Jocko training and rolling. Uh, whether it be with me or whoever. So I figure it's a good idea to get some of that to expose what it's really like day to day. We know each other's game really well, but what does that force you to do? It forces me to evolve, it forces him to evolve. And whatever he's good at, I'm gonna figure out over time how to counter and he's gonna have to come up with something new. It's essentially a street rules kind of thing uh, when we start rolling. You should train with other bodies too, you know, you should train with all different sizes. You should train with little people, big people, tall people, short people, you know, just train with everybody. But you're, you know you're going to get a good test when it's someone that's your size and weight. You're going to be able to work offense and defense. You know, if someone's huge compared to you, you might only be working defense. If someone's way smaller, maybe you're working offense. Also, someone that's smaller is going to be faster. Someone that's smaller might be probably going to be more flexible, so some of your moves might not work on them. So that's why you just got to keep training as much as you can. That's what's so fun about jiu-jitsu, it doesn't stop, it doesn't stop.